Gucci Nation! Yeah, 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 yeah! So I've decided to stop calling you guys my loyal subscribers. I've decided to stop calling you YouTubers. You are my viewers, you are my subscribers, and welcome back to my channel. To those who are new to my channel, my name is Anzachiri Zirama Bran, and today I am coming to you with a very interesting story time. So stay tuned. So I am gonna be telling you a story of when I went to date on a date, and it actually turned out to be something else rather than what I expected so I knew this guy so it's not just like a random person that I met on the street so I was safe when I went to this date um, I knew this guy for quite some time and we we're like buddies or whatever when I was still with somebody somebody else so when we, when I broke up with that other guy I think I spent two three months single and then um, I started talking to this guy I think let's call him John because I feel like it's, it's not far from me that people might make a connection and be like that's that guy who took I was on a bad date but today he is John <laughs> okay so not even John John is too, too long let's just say J J J J so this guy asked me on a date, I was like, oh, okay, cool, what are we going to do on this date? And he's like, oh, let's go to Crest. That Crest is not very far from where I live. So I was like, oh, okay, it's chilled. Let's do this date. Wah, wah, wah. The day I even, you know, when you put in an extra effort, you're wearing a dress. I was not wearing heels. Back then, I didn't do much of heels, eh? So... I went out with this guy he picked me up from campus and that was a tick that is nice is caring and whatnot and then we went into we went to Mark and Bean exactly Mark and Bean and then we said we ordered the drinks we started drinking um, we're drinking milkshakes and he was having some drinking that well the conversation guys I've never had such boring conversation in my life like guy on the phone this guy was cool you know he was fine but when it came to this date all he was talking about me 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 that's it like from when the date started to when it ended, it was all about him. He didn't even care to ask me what I'm doing at the time. Like, how is school? Are you fine? Um, tried to get to know me a little bit, but it was the car I'm driving, the job I make, I'm working at, the money I am making, my family, wara, 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 wara. him, 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 him. What he does for entertainment, everything like it was about him. I didn't like that at all. The fact that he didn't want, he didn't try to get to know me, but all he did was brag, 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 and brag, and brag. That wasn't cute at all. So, guys, if you're taking someone on a date, at least try to get to know them like show that you're interested or something like we didn't come to your you know your reality show or your talk show it's not all about you it's also about the other person try to get to know the other person as well or at least give them time to you know comment about what's happening in your life because i feel like for the rest of the date all i did was say mm -hmm, uh-huh that's nice mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh, that's nice. No, it's not on. I'm not gonna get cute. And it didn't even compliment how cute I look. Guys, I look cute. I'm sure that I look cute. But compliment Yana, it's me, it's me, it's 
meat, 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 meat. Guys, such is not acceptable. And that didn't end there. That's just the teeny portion on why this date was horrible, guys. So now we ordered the food. We ate, we ate. The food was nice, the food was nice. I like Maggie Bean, they always have nice ribs and nice um, salads and whatnot. And the food was, the soup, food was super nice, like it was, I at least on that date, I enjoyed the food, right? And then, after we are done eating, <laughs> We asked the waiter to bring the bill. He filled in everything, he filled in the tip and whatnot. I'm like, oh, okay, it's cool. Told um, the, the waiter to bring a speed point. So when the waiter went to get the swiping machine, guy opened his wallet and he was like, I forgot my. My card, I forgot my card, I forgot my card. At that time, my heart just went. <laughs> Yo, guys, you don't understand. <laughs> I was like, Am I about to wash some dishes up in here? <laughs> so now, he was like, Oh, okay, don't worry about it. Let me um, make an elect electronic transfer to myself and quickly go out and go withdraw the money. But me, being me, you know, I had just gotten money for groceries from home. It was around one end. Mind you, I get a, I used to get a thousand rand for that for groceries. I was like, no, man, it's cool. Let me pay for this bill here for us not to waste time or anything, and then you will sort me out later. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll sort you out as soon as, you know, I get into my car or as soon, I don't even remember as soon as what, but I was told I'll be sorted out, like, ASAP. Because if you forgot your card, you can easily, like, transfer me money or something. I remember the bill was, like, 400-ish. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. But from my groceries money, which was a 1000 Minus 400, you have put me in a very bad situation for the whole month. Like now, I was feeling some type of way because I just paid for a bill that I wasn't planning to pay for. So that date was like, uh, 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 uh. but I was assured that I would get sorted out ASAP. So we came back, he dropped me off, and then he, he went away, and then I started speaking to this guy. Now he's no longer responding, my God. Now he is no longer responding. I got ghosted. Ghosted. For like about a week or so. And then later in the, after a week or so, this guy starts talking to me. I'm not here thinking, are you serious? Are you serious? I had to leave. I'm leaving now on a tight budget because of you. So I'm talking to him. He's like, no, man, we should hook up again. And I'm excited. I'm thinking maybe he's remembering me. But he was not remembering and then I mentioned something about yo, this month, man, is tight. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke because I paid for a date that I didn't plan to pay for. Right? And then didn't even mention anything about the money that he owes me. Like, at least pay for your part. Pay for your half. I'm a student. You have put me in an awkward situation. So he then ghosted me again. So I just decided let's forget about this cash. We'll always get more cash later. 
later on and then i think i always go to my sisters and whatnot to ask for extra cash in the middle of the month so i went to them and i asked for cash i'm like oh man cash was hard this month and then they helped me out of course but that guy, they, shoot, I'll never look into his direction because you can't be dishonest like that. You can't offer me, offer to take me somewhere and tell me you sort me out and don't sort me out. Like that's just being plain rude, dishonest. I don't mind paying for dates when I have the money. Like if I am dating someone and I just come up with a brilliant idea yo babe let's go eat way way you know I can't be expecting you to have miracle money from nowhere to support some brilliant sorry some brilliant idea that I have like it doesn't work like that I do believe in paying for dates that I initiate myself but for me as a student you initiate something we go have fun if you're not gonna pay for my half at least tell me go be ready to pay for your half and i'll pay for my half but you can't tell me each this date is taken care of you know first of all he was bragging the whole date he was bragging about how he has made it in life and he had the nerve the nerve to ghost me showing my cash hmm? Mm -hmm. so guys thank you very much for watching i am not bitter at all i still talk to the guy like hi bye but i'll never look into his direction like mm, i'm never going anywhere with you you might just you know you might just come up with stuff for us but no hard feelings at all Thank you very much for watching once more. You are now my 18 nation because I believe you will grow into a big nation. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share each and every video that I post. You can also please follow me on my social media. I am AnzaChizzy18 on Instagram. I'm Anzaramabrana on Twitter. 